Hey, hey, it's Dana the Gypsy Psychic. Are y'all ready for another message? Come on in, get comfortable, put your feet up, get your blanket, get your pillow, get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to, put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. If you're new to the channel, it's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to talk about it as I clarify it and sew together a story. Okay, now let's jump in and see what these cards have to say today. Hey kids, want some candy? <laughs> Guess who it is? It's me. It's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. What's up? What's up, Bull Tribe? What's up? What's up? What's up? I want to do a reading for us because I am Taurus Sun, Pisces Moon, Pisces Rising, and Pisces Venus, but a Taurus Sun. So I want to do a reading for us to see what this solar eclipse big powerful thing that's going on in the heavens above us uh has to say for you see if there's any kind of special message in here or maybe it's just gonna be a regular old plain old message i never know what these guys are gonna say so Let's just jump right in and see what they have to say for Taurus. So give me a second to channel and we'll see what kind of messages come through here, okay? Let's do it. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me, Spirit. And Taurus wants to know what you know. And what does the Taurus need to know about themselves, their lives, and their future? Spirit, what's coming towards Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their very best and highest good? Please use me as a vessel to not only interpret these messages, but to explain them as well. Tell me where the stopping point is for Taurus. I will cut three times and I will pull straight from the top. Spirit, what is it? Okay, right there, that Taurus needs to know. All right, let's cut them and see what they say. Let's go. Can you see? All right, let's go. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Bottom of the deck, the Eight of Swords, all tied up in the head with some kind of fear Three of Wands in reverse, don't see something coming, lack of foresight, Princess of Cups in reverse, Seven of Wands in reverse, Six of Swords in reverse, and the Devil in reverse to the Ace of Cups, the Prince of Swords, and the Empress in reverse. All right, those are going to make a lot of sense, I think, at the end of all of this. So where's my boundary? Got my little Tibetan bell there, and... My dad's high school ring on a crystal. Just need to know where you guys can see in the camera, right? All right, first card out. Boom. Hoo -hoo -hoo, hot out the box. The High Priestess. Freaking awesome. I'll set those right there. The High Priestess. Freaking fantastic. Followed by the Hermit in Reverse, Isolated, Withdrawn, Lonely, Withdraw. Maybe your intuition is telling you to withdraw. Five of Swords, holding on to something, though. To the Three of Cups, um, Rejoicing, Celebrating, Reuniting. The Queen of Cups in Reverse, some kind of unhandled feelings, maybe. The Five of Cups, right? Loss, Regret, Despair, Disappointment. The Ten of Swords, Ending, Pain, Betrayal, Sorrow. The Prince of Wands, talking to us about inspiration, movement, action, change. The Six of Wands, woo, some kind of success, overcoming something, overcoming this Five of Swords, I guarantee you. Um, to the world, uh, the closure cycle, cycle closure, endings, changes, transformations, Wow, Taurus, what is up? All right, to the Ace of Wands in reverse, talking to us about a lack of inspiration or motivation, the moon, some kind of emotional internal struggle, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, um, 
lost opportunity, the two of swords at crossroads, the king of swords in reverse, to the two of cups in reverse, the six of cups in reverse, the seven of swords in reverse, to the seven of cups in reverse, the five of wands in reverse, the queen of wands in reverse, the six of pentacles in reverse, to the nine of pentacles, the four of wands, the Prince of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups. Wow. Wow. All right, we'll stop with that. Let's see. What is going on here? And y'all, I don't want to hear no complaints about the reversals, all right? If you don't read the reversals, you're only using 50% of the deck's capacity, okay? You saw me shuffle those cards. You saw me cut them. No, 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 you got the deck upside down, Karen kind of comments. Okay, love you, Karen. No, 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 no offense if your name is Karen. It's just kind of a funny thing. All right, so the High Priestess is the first card out. She sets the tone for everything. She's beautiful. She's powerful. She is your intuition. It is your internal compass pointing you towards your true north. Okay, tell me about the High Priestess. It's your soul speaking to you. Tell me about the High Priestess. The Queen of Swords in reverse and the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So possibly in some kind of denial, possibly out of control. To the Hermit in reverse, withdrawn, isolated, lonely. Tell me about this Hermit in reverse, please. Tell me about this Hermit in reverse. Tell me about it the Ten of Swords. Interesting. Okay. Ten of Swords. Hold on. And we got the Star and then the Fool in reverse to the Five of Swords. Holding on to some kind of idea or mentality of some sort. Hmm. Hmm. What's this about? To the Three of Cups in the Upright. Three of Cups. Rejoicing. Celebrating. Getting together with someone. This is what's going on. So, High Priestess. High Priestess comes in. First card out sets the tone for absolutely everything. Let me move all these so you can see them. Okay. High Priestess sets the tone for everything, okay? She is here. She is Major Arcana. Therefore, she is a spiritual message or a spiritual lesson. She is your soul's internal mechanism to point you towards your true north always, always, always. It's your intuition, all right? So Spirit's here, first card out, telling you that there is something extremely important that you need to handle in your life and that it is of a spiritual nature of some sort, okay? The Queen of Swords in reverse, um, there is anger. Um, we have in, in the rest of this two people who are not getting along with each other. Words have been exchanged. Um, blockages in communication. Um, you are whoever this is for. It's not for freaking everybody, okay? But whoever this is for is at odds with someone in their life and has been for a good long time. Four of Pentacles in reverse talks about uh, protecting yourself. It talks about um, self-protection. The Pentacles is about your sense of well-being and the Four is about stability. In the reverse, it's about upside down. So it's about protecting your sense of well-being. So you have guarded yourself from someone, um, buzzkill from your past, okay, that um, you have guarded your sense of well-being against someone in your life, okay? The Hermit in reverse. Uh, you have been withdrawn from this person. You have not engaged with this person. You have completely and totally, because of some argument or differences of some sort, isolated yourself from this person. Okay? Five of Swords. Five of Swords says that you've been holding on to some kind of school of thought in your mind with a white knuckle grip for a long, long time about this person. 
Okay, this is the way that it is. This is the way that it went down. This is the shit that was said and done and cut out, gone from your life. Okay, Ten of Swords. It was uh, a disastrous ending, a painful ending. Um, it was it was once and for all, though, said and done and over. The star comes on top of this and says, oh, but Taurus, <laughs> for your soul's purpose, with the high priestess right here, for your soul's purpose, there is to be renewal and regeneration in this situation. There is to be renewal, regeneration, because the star is about your path and your purpose as well. The high priest has started this whole thing, okay? You have been energetically, soulfully withdrawn from this person, cut them out of your life, and these cards, Major Arcana, spiritual messages are saying that it is time for your soul's growth to come to terms with this mentality that you have been holding on about this painful argument or ending, okay? The fool in reverse, because it is foolishness and not in your best and highest good and a suppression of your spiritual growth to be too stubborn to engage in this. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. The Three of Cups. Three of Cups talks about uh, joy, renewal, celebration in the emotions. And the Knight of Swords comes on top of it and says communication. you about to get some kind of communication, Taurus, from someone from your past where things ended very, very badly. Very badly. <coughs> a family rift. A rift with a child. A rift with um, an employer or a job. Maybe you got fired and they're coming back to you. Uh, definitely some kind of very severe cut off between you and someone else. And you have three cards of renewal here, okay? The three of cups. This is renewal. The star. This is renewal. The high priestess. This is renewal, okay? High Priestess Spirit telling you real big message here, okay? The star, there is going to be renewal in some kind of really bad relationship in your life. The Queen of Cups in reverse, a relationship where there was hurt feelings, a relationship where there is unresolved feelings. To the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, feelings that have not been worked out, sorted out, worked on. Um, unmet expectations, perhaps. Perhaps you were expecting this person to be a certain way or to grow up to be a certain way or to have a certain career or to act a certain way. And whatever this is, um, there's a lot of hurt feelings about it. Justice comes on top of this and says, guess what, Taurus? There's about to be justice in this situation. Justice, I also want to point out, is about accountability for your own journey. It's about the truth. It's about seeing the truth. It's about owning your truth. Justice is your accountability for the spiritual path that is about to open up for you. And what do I mean by spiritual path? Well, it's a growth because the only thing that matters in this whole lifetime that we're in right here is our spiritual growth. That's the, that's why we're here for whatever. I mean, we could put a bazillion different labels on that. Maybe I'll do a podcast on that one day, but we can do put a bazillion different labels on it, right? But what it boils down to is that we are here to fucking accomplish something. And what we're here to accomplish is the growth of our spiritual being and that is to conquer the battle of the flesh, okay? The way that we grow here, however we got here, whatever's going on here, the purpose, the heartbeat, and the point is to overcome your ego flesh and grow your spirituality. So when you get to the other side, you got that, okay? Okay, so your spiritual growth um, you are being asked to grow 
right now when this happens okay or if it if it's already happened there's a message that's coming to you it's your accountability this message is going to be bring truth and justice of some sort into your life as well the king of wands it could be a fire sign that this is all about but to tell you the truth we got just about everybody in this whole first row so don't pin it on that it's just throwing it out there because the king of wands is about desire and passion the King of Wands is about the pursuit of achievement and success. It's about success. Success. We'll get back to that. To the Three of Pentacles in reverse, where there has not been success before. To the Seven of Wands. Seven, seven of Cups in reverse. Seven of Cups in reverse talks about a sticking point in your emotions. It's about stifled, stifled it's about emotional diversion. It's about not dealing with something emotionally. And the three of pentacles in reverse is about a lack of collaboration. And the king of wands says there will be success in this situation. Okay, so there's a message coming to you, possibly from this king of wands, possibly um, about your personal success in some way, somehow. Okay. Five of Cups, loss, regret, despair, and disappointment, followed by the Hierophant. Loss, regret, despair, disappointment, commitment, obligation, family. Yeah, look, I cannot make this up. Look how that landed on my arm right there, right? To the King of Swords in reverse, words were said. Six of Cups in reverse, stuck in some kind of emotional place. Three of Wands in reverse, it's obstacles to your long-term goals. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, because you can't grow anything on sour ground, to the Ace of Cups. It's time to come to terms with your emotions, okay? So there's some kind of commitment, perhaps, that's being offered to you, or some kind of family situation, some kind of marriage, perhaps, Um that is up for renewal, okay? There is definitely something that's up for renewal. King of Swords in reverse says there's a lot of bad blood between y'all, though. You're the Queen of Swords in reverse up here, okay? There's a lot of bad blood between y'all to the Six of Cups in reverse because of something that happened in the past. The Three of Wands in reverse. Um Lack of foresight, so perhaps you don't see this coming at all. Not at all at all. But the Three of Wands in reverse, most importantly, is about obstacles to your future. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. You're not going to be able to sow the seeds that need to be sown in your life if you throw them on sour grapes. Okay? To the Ace of Cups. It's time to take responsibility for your emotions. It's time to come to terms with your emotions because there is a renewal of love that is going to happen in your life that is important for your spiritual growth and your spiritual path. The Ten of Swords. Hold on. Say I told you I was going to smoke. Hold on. The Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is the pain. Okay. It's, it's up here as well, right? Oops. The Ten of Swords. That's the pain, right? The pain, the pain, the pain. The King of Cups. Um, you love this person a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, or at least at some point in your life you did because right above it is the hermit in reverse, right? And this is withdrawn, withdrawn and isolated. So at some point you had a lot of feelings for this person. You loved this person. The queen of cups in reverse talks about the hurt feelings, right? They're coming to you possibly in a place of love, grown love, mature love. To the Three of Cups in reverse. What was the problem before is that there was interference. Too many cooks in the kitchen. Um, there was interference. Um, spouses, right? Getting in the way. Y'all spouses not liking each other. Their spouse not liking you. Your spouse not liking them. Uh, family interference. Gossip. Backbiting. Somehow, some way, there was just outright cheating. If we're if you're feeling a, ro a romantic thing here, right? Somewhere along the way, there was other people that got involved between the two of you, and that's what the rift is about at the root of everything. 
the Prince of Wands in the center of the reading. You're going to have an opportunity, though, um, to talk with this person. You are. Knight of Swords, Prince, of, Prince of, of Wands in the center of your reading. Inspired action to the Nine of Pentacles. And this conversation is going to bring this all to a culminating end in the sense of well-being. Because it's pentacles, right? In this, in your sense of well-being, all of this is finally going to be sewn up and, and you're going to be at peace with it. To the seven of pentacles. Although you never really ever in a million years thought that it would happen. Reflecting, assessing, motivations, observations. It's whatever is said between the two of you here in this, in this conversation that's being offered. Um, mends and heals everything. The Six of Wands. Victory, progress, success to the world card. An absolute end to this cycle that has deeply affected your life somehow. And a brand new beginning to a brand new cycle in your life. Ace of Wands. Where there is an inspired, passionate, motivating opportunity to renew something to renew something interesting the ace of wands in reverse ace of wands in reverse talks about um a lack of desire okay a lack of desire to the moon um perhaps this is you contemplating if you should even do this or not if you should even entertain this in any way whatsoever the moon is a big, huge struggle. The moon is a reflection of this mindset of the five of swords. See, the moon is always about the proverbial human struggle, that between which we know to be true and that which we really don't want to be true. Okay, so you're struggling in this because you think in this five of swords that you know what to be true. Okay, but you don't. Because whatever this conversation is about changes everything. Struggling in that. The Ten of Pentacles. Some kind of money. Some kind of well-being. Some kind of inheritance. Some kind of fulfillment in the sense of well-being. They've got the Nine of Pentacles in the center of your reading. Five of Cups in reverse. Moving on. From loss, regret, despair, disappointment to the Ten of Cups. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Into a place of a great deal of emotional fulfillment. To the Two of Swords. But you, Taurus, are at a crossroads. What you're not, what you're not seeing here is the potential of this situation to not only come to close, but also to come to some kind of completion as well. Big completion. Big, big, big completion. The star. The star says, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the star and the, the fool in reverse go up there. At a crossroads, okay? Crossroads. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. It's just not worth it. Eight of Swords in reverse. You need to have new perspective. Two of Swords, the same crossroads over here because a King of Swords in reverse. Whatever was said between the two of y'all was hateful, ugly, and severe. Severe, 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 severe. And you're just holding on to this Five of Swords mentality that Major Arcana says is foolishness. Okay? Because there's renewal for you in this. Okay? It's, it's part of, it's important for you too. Okay? King of Swords, nasty, angry, Four of Swords in reverse. Um, haven't quite forgotten about it. It's about being mentally restless, lack of progress. Um, you, you have not forgotten it. High Priestess comes on top of all of this and says, My child, Taurus, 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 Taurus. This is a growing moment, Taurus. This is a huge, gigantic growing moment for you. It is extremely important that you pay attention to what it is that is being presented to you because it's extremely important for your overall journey to the chariot. Mm -hmm. 
Put in the self-control, the willpower, the determination to come to terms with this school of thought that has kept you uh, away from this person for a long time and come to terms with it. Hop in the chariot. It's going to this this level of growth for you or perhaps the getting reconciling this situation for you is going to lead you towards all kinds of money and all kinds of happiness. Job offer. Um, I get selling a house for some reason. Again, inheritance, maybe. Um, this, you mending the fences with this and letting go of some kind of mentality that you have is going to benefit you in a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of ways. Okay. A lot of ways. High priestess and the chariot say, we can't take you there until you sew this up though. And sewing this up with this person is directly related to hitting the jackpot in your life. Okay. All right. Let me get over here. What you're not seeing clearly though, Ace of Cups, is that there is emotional growth available to you here, emotional healing for the both of you, possibly some kind of new beginning in a relationship between the two of you, some new sprouting of emotions or feelings, okay? Seven of Cups in reverse to the Five of Wands in reverse. I want to ask about this. So this is this emotional diversion and avoiding responsibility or king of wands. It is. It is. So what this is saying is stop the, the emotional diversionary tactics. Okay. Stop avoiding handling this situation. Five of wands in reverse. Stop avoiding taking responsibility for the part that you played in this situation. King of wands. Take control of the situation. Queen of Wands in reverse to the King of Swords in reverse. No matter what happened to the two between the two of you, Six of Pentacles in reverse. Just reiterating that the two of you were not sharing in any kind of sense of well-being with one another. Okay, okay. To the Queen of Wands in reverse again, which is which is reiterating that you have some kind of responsibility that you need to take in the situation. To the Eight of Wands, movement, action, and change is about to happen if you will participate to the Nine of Pentacles. And it is going to bring an immense sense of well-being to everyone concerned. I do want to throw out there that perhaps this person has um, accomplished something in the realm of some kind of financial security that they're going to share with you somehow, some way. Five of Wands in reverse. This um, financial aspect of things um, clears up all of the conflict in your lives, maybe your life, to the Four of Wands. And it puts you in a place of peace, happiness, contentment, safety, possibly um, engaging in a, the, a, the stability of some kind of long-term relationship. To the Prince of Pentacles, that is going to be long, steady, stable, um, secure. To the Nine of Cups and be wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction for you, Taurus. This, the mending of this relationship is going to change a lot of things for you. A lot, a lot, a lot of things for you, Taurus. My tags are Jimmy. A lot of things for you. It's going to, to possibly bring money into your life. It's going to definitely bring a sense of safety and security into your life, whatever this is about. Ace of Swords. Um, come to terms with the truth. The Three of Swords in reverse. Come to terms with the grief, the sorrow, and the pain. And step back into the Queen of Cups in the upright instead of the Queen of Cups in reverse. Right? Step into your emotions. Step into embracing this situation. Let all of the, the salty, sour emotions go. Let it all go. Bottom of the deck. The Ace of Swords. Trapped in fear. The Three of Swords in reverse. This is obstacles to your long-term goals. 
Princess of Cups in reverse. It keeps you from emotionally maturing. Seven of Wands in reverse, protecting yourself. Six of Swords in reverse, because of a mindset that you are stuck in. The Devil in reverse, it's, it's an attachment that is a restriction to your growth and by default toxic to your life. It is time to detach from that toxicity and come to terms with some kind of limiting beliefs that you have within yourself as that Queen of Wands in reverse, your, your part in this. Ace of Cups, this offers emotional growth, um, 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 an opportunity to have some kind of new feelings to the Prince of Swords. Um, there's a message coming to you that is going to open this door for you. To the Empress in reverse, don't screw it up. <laughs> the Empress in reverse is someone that is not utilizing their, their spirituality. The Empress is less than three of the major arcana. She's three for a reason because she comes from lesson one and two. Lesson one is the magician. What you think about comes about. And in this whole reading, the only thing you're thinking about is the saltiness between you and how you got screwed over. And these cards say you need to pay attention to the part that you played in all of this as well. Um, what you think about comes about, whether you like it or not, whether it's in your best interest or not, what you think about comes about. Lesson two is the high priestess. She's here in your reading twice, twice, Taurus. She's here in your reading. The high priestess is your internal compass. It is your soul speaking to you, to you, to guide you in the direction of your best and highest good. The empress is lesson three because she understands that. She's very careful about what she thinks about because she knows it comes about. So she thinks she thinks according to the path that her intuition is leading her. She listens to her intuition beyond a shadow of a doubt. She follows her intuition above and beyond everything. And she manifests her thoughts according to where her intuition is leading her. That makes her the empress. She is the 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 life bed. She is where everything is created from. You can't create anything good in your life until you master lesson one and two and step into your power as the empress. The empress happens to life. Life doesn't happen to the empress. The empress in reverse is not doing that. And you're allowing life to happen to you instead of you happening to life. They need you to stand in your power so they can use you to create what it is that's trying to be created in your life. And you're blocking yourself with some kind of white knuckle grip on some kind of mentality that needs to go by the wayside. You need to make nice with this person and um, carry on with yourself. Making nice with this person changes the whole trajectory of your future somehow some way in a big way in a big big way don't know this is a general reading it's if, it, if this was your reading i would be able to tell you all about this and how it directly affects the different aspects of your life but i don't know who this is for or what i'm reading about so take it with a grain of salt and run with it you got some work to do taurus Recap, there's a message coming to you. You need to let go of some kind of old mindset and step into some kind of spiritual growth because this is the path to do it. Hope that helps someone. Namaste.